This is New Cap News with Nerman Esau. Good evening and thank you for joining us. A scary situation over the weekend for a pilot and his passenger as his plane crashed north of Lloyd Minster. Now on Saturday, local emergency crews responded to the scene about 35 kilometers northwest of Lloyd Minster at a body of water. The Cessna 180 float plane was traveling from Shoal Lake, Manitoba to Sherrod Park, Alberta. Now the pilot stopped at Passachaw Lakes, that's northwest of Lloyd Minster, to refuel. Police say he tried to take off, but the wind had calmed, making it difficult for the pilot to get the plane off of the water. Now, after the third attempt, the plane lifted off, but the wind died down, causing the plane to flip and land upside down. Now, the pilot and passenger were able to swim to safety after the crash. They were checked by ambulance personnel, but were not injured. Three North Battleford youths are facing charges after a series of assaults in the city early Sunday morning. Police say three suspects had been involved in a break and enter on Thompson Crescent. The youths then assaulted a male outside the first scene before going to Trudeau Street where they were alleged to have damaged four vehicles and assaulted two others, breaking one person's leg. Now, police arrested two 16-year-olds and a 17-year-old. They were all intoxicated at the time. The three are facing several charges, including assault causing bodily harm. One youth was scheduled to appear in North Balford at Provincial Court today, while the two others have since been released to their guardians until their first court appearance, and that will be in September. Well, City Council is back in session after a break this summer. As Annika Novate reports, plenty was on the agenda, including a report on how the city is doing, as well as the future steps in city planning. Today at Council, the City announced that the 2013 report to the community has been released and Mayor Rob Saunders says there's some pretty interesting findings for residents to check out. Well, there's obvious trends and uh, it's a lower, uh, lower age bracket. It's a young family city. Uh, the average age is uh, 32 in the city as a whole. As well, Councillor Lenny Goodhand says home businesses are on the rise in Lloydminster and she says Council wants to be on board with entrepreneurs in the area. And come home to after work, but more and more people are uh, approaching the city about trying to produce revenue from their homes. So we don't want to reject them out of hand and we don't want to be so, um, you know, create such barriers to being successful that people will go back underground. We'll have more details on some of these stories tomorrow on Newcap News. Reporting from City Hall, Annika Notvate. Well, thank you, Annika. Now, Fort Wing welcomed a new honorary colonel today. The base held a ceremony to introduce the new face and to say farewell to the outgoing one. Fraser Snowden has more. <laughs> It was a full house to recognize the changeover of one colonel to another, as former Lieutenant General Fred Sutherland stepped into his new role. Basically, we're here to serve, and so whatever uh, the wing commander and the senior leadership ask us to do, and to the extent we can feel we can help, uh, we stand ready to do so. So if he has uh, challenges where he thinks, uh, based on my experience as a former Air Force officer, I can provide advice or mentoring. The title can be given to a range of positions, like outgoing Colonel David Bronconye, who is the former Calgary mayor. It was an absolute honor and a thrill for me to be invited to, uh, to serve in a voluntary capacity for the last three years, uh, getting to know uh, some of the, the uh, folks of Four Wing Cold Lake. But not everyone can be nominated for the position. You need to be a distinguished Canadian who has contributed to society or someone with previous military experience like the incoming colonel. Sutherland served as base commander here in Cold Lake back in 1982. And Colonel Eric Kenny believes his experience will be very helpful. Great deal of knowledge on the military and how that organization works, but also at the same time he's still completely connected, working as a mentor at the Canadian Forces College in Toronto and also on the Board of Governors for the Royal Military College. Sutherland says it's a great feeling to be back in the area. I feel very much like I've come home uh, because when I served uh, here uh, as the commander and then subsequently as the commander of the Air Force, developed and then maintained a very special spot in my heart for, for this wing and its people. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News. Well, we've seen them all over social media. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenges continue to make their way around the region. Today, it was the local emergency services turn. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. 
Yes, the crew at WPD Ambulance took the plunge this afternoon after being challenged by North Balford Ambulance. They continued the trend by nominating Lloyd Fire, Lloyd Rescue, Britannia Wilton Fire and Prairie EMS Vermilion. Now, in the meantime, the top brass at the Lloydminster RCMP office also had a turn. So I accept the challenge. Uh, I think I'm ready. I'm just going to take my hat off. Woo! Yes, Staff Sergeant Suki Manj accepted the challenge from various people in his office. So in turn, he challenged everyone in the city to donate to ALS.